Hello. Hi. This is Lee Schwartz, who is Hi. one of the, the uh, principals at the Recycling Alternative, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the implications of this kind of waste, what the Recycling Alternative does, and some of the other things that are sort of on the horizon in terms of waste and waste reduction in the city and the province. Okay. Always ready to trash talk and pen notes. Is this working okay, everyone? Yeah, Hello. Oh. It's great to be here. And uh, I'm Louise from Recycling Alternative. And in fact, my truck just dropped off the uh, super sacks that are going to take all these coffee cups at the end of the day. And we'll be taking them to a depot. Um, but you may know we also have the, re the, the green hub. We just recently opened the green hub. Okay, we just recently opened the Green Hub just over in uh, Falls Creek Flats, South Main and Terminal, and it's a partnership between United We Can, that Can started so many years ago when I was starting Recycling Alternative, and uh, Recycling Alternative. So United We Can and Recycling Alternative are working together at the depot, um, at the Green Hub rather, they with the Bottle Depot and ourselves with a regular recycling operation. And really part of this is about around a collaborative model, a partnership for organizations to start to work together and look at the problem of trash and what we need to do about it. So there's two things I really want everybody to know about this morning. You've got to remember, I'm on the back end of this trash. I collect this stuff, I collect recycling, and I am always wanting to know and very keen on making sure I know where the markets are, where this stuff gets recycled, what happens to it after my trucks pick it up. So I'm going to tell you about two things that are very important for everybody to start to inform themselves about, and it's about recycling. One is a bylaw, 280, and for you to know that this is a bylaw about trying to protect the recycling system the way it is with separating materials so that we can recover them and make more materials out of them. And I can tell you every recycling company in the Lower Mainland is supporting bylaw 280. So if you hear about it, you want to support it as a recycler. The next item that's very important for people to be aware of is something called MMBC, Multi-Materials BC, which is where this program with coffee cups has been created this summer to find a way of recycling coffee cups. As Ken mentioned, this is a program that's been rolled out. We need to know where this stuff is going and where it's getting recycled, and we're still exploring that. We've got depots so far that are taking it. As a recycler, I'm telling all of us together, we want to find out what the final product that's made back out of these coffee cups. Because if they're not getting recycled and recovered, then there's really no point in collecting them at depots, but for now we're going to start following our trash. So I really want everyone to think about when you're recycling and collecting and, and, and binners are doing their work, I can see a lot from United We Can here this morning, and Mike and Stefan and Randy and lots of people, Dylan. Um, keep in mind you need to follow your trash, you need to know where it's going next. So. Keep that in mind as these, these coffee cups are getting collected today. And we'll be taking them back to the depot. And uh, I'm sure Ken will keep you posted on what's happening to them next when we find out where the next market is on these coffee cups. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's great. Thank, Thank you. That's great. Now, of course, part of what's going on here, too, is under the auspices of the city of Vancouver. And yeah.